Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2. We're about to touch down with Operation Hammer Knife and recover a uh, sampling rate analysis report from an advent site. Uh, let's uh, get to it. It doesn't look like there's a huge amount of cover out, but at least we've landed on the roof. And not too far away either. Near your position. Be advised. Self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. Okay, so obviously, the big difference this time is that the uh, container is inside an advent facility. Um, this rooftop start is not too bad, but we do have a long way to go go so it's not actually going to provide us much benefit um, I think based on the layout of this building where we're headed if we uh, try and come up around this edge we might be able to get the drop on something in there um, but Guzman I think is probably going to have to try and hack it remotely uh, possibly through this window yeah so we'll scout out the front on our way over Anderson, Majid, Guzman, and Sakamoto. Right, let's uh, let's make a uh, move. There now. Nothing visible yet. Uh, we've got some civilians along the way. Let's come forward to here. Okay, so we've got a muton and a sectoid over there. It would be really nice to just take them out, but uh, I think based on the time we have available, we're probably actually going to want to try and just sneak past them initially. Um, Majid, where can we get you to? We could we could pull you all the way forwards here. Kind of worried that that they might patrol around. Um, so it might just be uh, beneficial for us to leave Majid kind of here. Yeah, okay, let's bring everyone else forwards. Um, Guzman, come to here. Can you see anything further that way? Oh, turrets. Whoa, wow. Okay, scrub the roof plan. Um, yes, we've got some other problems now. Um, well, at least Matthews can still remain concealed later. Um, I suppose we could just try and blitz our way in and then do the clean-up afterwards. Uh, Matthews, can you come forwards to here? Roger that. Do you have some grenades? So we have the potential to uh, take out those turrets. Um, also, we could leave Matthews in a position that he can see them. Uh, like move Guzman out of the way, leave Matthews there, um, and then snipe at them if we need to. So doesn't seem like a great idea though. Um, Anderson, of course, you've got your acid grenade that could make short work of both of those turrets. Um, let's advance you to here for the moment. And then Majid, yes, we are going to just advance you to this point for the moment. And pistol overwatch. Let's see how these uh, patrols go. It's getting a little bit closer. That's kind of okay. Uh, Guzman, I don't think there's really anywhere we can take you that you won't get seen by those turrets on the way. Um, so, we might have to uh, pull you back. Sakamoto, you're far enough back that those turrets can't see you, which is great. Guzman, yeah, let's pull you back to here. And we'll go on Overwatch. 
Majid, you can still see that sexoid, which is fantastic. Sakamoto, Overwatch. Uh, we'll leave you doing nothing, Arthur. Uh, Anderson, Overwatch. And uh, Majid, if you take that initial shot, only five damage. Oh, I was hoping for a bit more there, but poisoned. That's true. Go on, run somewhere that we can overwatch you. Eight. Miss. Uh, that's not great. Uh, Duke, you're still not doing anything. Um, yeah, Overwatch in case it tries to flank us, I suppose. We'll see what it does. Ooh! <laughs> that was very close. Yeah, just pointed us. Okay, 65% chance. That's alright. Um, Guzman has combat protocol or a nice point blank shot. We could actually also advance to, uh, say, here. Um, obviously, we don't want to go anywhere that those turrets could see us, so this is out of bounds. Let's, uh, let's move to here. Get a flank shot. good. It's good damage. Majid will wait for you for the moment. Um, Sakamoto. Actually, you're Phantom as well, aren't you? I totally forgot about that. Um, in that case, Anderson, if you come to here, try and just get a regular shot. My cannon. Excellent. So, Sakamoto, you can actually, uh, say, come up to this point. Moving on target location. And, uh, get Majid some shots on the, uh, the turrets over there. 55%, 53%. May as well try and clear these out. Cool, another one of those. That'll be good. Hit the armor. Doesn't matter because it can't see us. Where are you? Where are you? And Duke, I'll you can move. do some scouting for us and uh, mine that civilian along the way. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking continue to go a bit wide on this. So to here. Moving to designated position. Uh, Sakamoto, actually, you're good. Hit six turns. Ooh, would be good if we could advance you, but that civilian is right in the way. Overwatch for the moment. Majid, take another shot. Excellent. That is fantastic. Okay, with that one out of the way. We've got some uh, better options coming uh, sideways. So we could advance uh, Sakamoto up to this point. Let's um, let's take Arthur forwards first. That's affirmative. Hostiles making the round. Okay, so we've got three inside. Um, looks like two stun lancers and an officer. And I doubt there's going to be anything further this way. Um, what's the inside look like? Oh, very, very close. That's what it looks like. Okay, Arthur. Um, wait there for the moment. Sakamoto, you can still see that turret and nothing else. 
Okay, Guzman, can you come round to here? I think that's probably safe for you. We do it to here and then to there. Leave Sakamoto where it is. Um, Matthews, you can come up to here. Anderson. I'm worried that you might be able to see the other turret if we get you to there. Can we get to a point that we can see? Yes, you can. So we don't want to do that because that would uh, reveal it. Um, these would reveal those. How about this? Yeah, this could work. Actually, we could bring you to here and next turn possibly grenade over the top. Yeah, let's do that. Position confirmed. Oh, what have you seen? Ah, oh, you revealed them on the way. Damn it. Well then. And that as well. Great. Well, maybe you can grenade now. Acid grenade. It's not going to take out walls though, is it? Can't get it in there quite. Um, how about flashbang? Could flash the whole area. I'd get those two. A bit worried about this stun lancer. Sakamoto. Can move you down here and overwatch. Um, okay, for the moment, just overwatch with Anderson. Sakamoto, if you come down here. Heading to that location. And provide us some extra overwatch. Actually, who can you see this out in the open? That guy. Mm, no. Just overwatch for the overwatch. moment. We'll see what they do. Okay, Guzman's marked. I think it's only the Advent Officer that's interested in shooting. It's uh, nice of Anderson to shoot out that window for the uh, stun lancer. Oh, more stun for Guzman. And the other stun lance. Ah, oh, disoriented. Okay, let's get a reload. 67, 47. Let's uh, go for the 67. Great assistance. So that guy's going to die next turn. That's great. Uh, mag rifle at 72. That's uh, pretty good. That is excellent, actually. Ooh. Excellent. I totally forgot that we gave her the hair trigger. Um, so, uh, I guess we can move you somewhere better now. 52%. 13% chance to hit that one. That's not great. Um... Duke, can you open this up, please? Since you've been revealed. Actually, since you've been revealed, we could move you somewhere else. Perhaps to some better cover. No, no, yes. This is fine. Uh, might possibly get seen by the uh, turret on the way round. Can we do it via this? Good old waypoints. Ah, he's overwatched, isn't he? I totally forgot that. Oh, gee. Sorry, that's right in the back. Should have thrown the grenade first. 
Well, you killed a guy that was going to die anyway. That's not ideal. Guzman, you may as well take this shot. No, actually, we really want to get you out of here. You are too hurt at the moment. Let's... Where should we take you? Let's take you around here. Sakamoto, you're still stealth. Let's advance you to this point. And Anderson, what are we going to do? You need to reload. It's killing time. And then you can at least take a shot on the officer. Take out some of the wall around him. I'll get him next time. Four turns left until detonation. Okay, Majid can't see anyone anymore. Um, oh, there's a uh, hack to check nearby. So we can remove that overwatch with um, combat protocol. So we might do that. All enemies gaining a defense and mobility boost or complete immunity from the next two attacks. There's a pretty good chance of us doing that, so I think we should try. Oh, we could have gone for the other one, even. Good work, Guzman. You can now run this Overwatch for us. And uh, given that you're on one health, this is actually ideal for us. So... Yeah, we can run the Overwatch, or I suppose we could just uh, no. Let's let's remove it with Combat Protocol. Does four damage now? Oh, of course, because we upgraded the uh, Gremlins. That's good. That's really good. Sakamoto. Well, whatever we do is pretty much going to reveal. Um, I suppose we could come forwards to here. We really want to uh, make it through into that building. Like We really need to be there much faster than we are at the moment. Um, Anderson, you've only got a 33% chance to hit still. And that's because of the uh, the cover that this person has. If we come here, it will be visible to that turret, but we should be able to get a flank on Moving out. that advent instead. 78%. Try that for us. Great. Good riddance. So, Sakamoto. You've got a much nicer job now. We can uh, move to here. And stay stealthy. Running through this lovely hole in the window that the advent guy already created. And uh, Majid, if you'd please, if you could one-shot this, that would be ideal for us. Ah, that's a miss. Okay. Anderson's uh, going to take a shot. Phew. Incoming over here. Yes, it is. Panic removed. Great. Take another shot. Actually, wait for the moment. There might be someone better for us to have you shoot. If you would please run in. I know you're going to lose your concealment at this point. Menace one five, this is Avenger. We have positive confirmation of the target package. Move to acquire. 
doesn't hurt to just um well there's not a great chance of either because uh, of course uh, this isn't our specialist so let's go for the best one nope would have totally failed anyway but objective complete Status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles near the AO. Okay, well, Guzman, if you come over here. We will... Uh, first of all, we'll try and get Majid to uh, snipe the turret. No. Oh. So, Anderson, if you take a shot at it, also missed. Oh, that's not great. Adjusting aim. Yes, all right. Spent. Everyone's adjusting aim. Uh, Duke, you're using a shotgun, but you do have a grenade. How far can you throw your grenades? Mm, not hugely. If we move you to here, will you be visible by the turret? No, you won't. You also probably will be a bit too exposed. Can we start making you move towards the roof? We can. Okay, let's do that. Let's bring you up to here. Guzman, just uh, take a regular shot. Ah, oh, good work, Guzman. Yes, you're out of ammo. So we've got at least one more alien somewhere. I'm ready. Let's uh, bring Majid over one square. Get a bit of an angle more that way. Guzman, you can reload. Estoy uh, Sakamoto, where do you want to go? Do you want to scout out this way and look for for the people? Confirmed. I can always retreat again. There they are. I'm thinking retreat is definitely an option here. Go and get some backup from everyone else. Okay. Well, we do have the grenade to take out the armor on the muton. Can anyone else see your help from here? Not really. Also not really. Need to reload. We're green to go. Sakamoto, if you run back this way, say to You'll get flanked from there. We can't get to there. Just awkward. And we can't get out of the room that way. I suppose we could move to here. We move to here. Headed there now. So if we put Guzman on Overwatch and uh Duke's got an angle into there. Um, actually, we could bring Duke into a better position to assist, uh, say, here, and then Overwatch. We'll lose the uh, accuracy bonus from the height, but I think the uh, range penalty would have offset that. I think that's going to be too far for... Anderson to help with, so let's come forwards to here. I'm sorry, Sakamoto, I hope they don't hit you. Okay. One damage it's from the uh, stock on his uh, shotgun. 
the target. Oh, uh, suppression. Oh, stun lancer. Missed. Phew. They're all over me. And the other stun lancer. Oh, unconscious. Oh, we're going to lose our ability to use grenades that way. <sighs> Duke, what are you doing? Yes, we will. You said that already, Bradford. Okay. Uh, Guzman. If you come forward to here. Can you see anyone? Yes, you can. Anderson. We can advance you to here and then uh, let's try an acid grenade through to the uh, far side. Can we get both of these guys and uh, not ours? Oh, I don't think the angle's going to quite work on that. No, we could possibly get the muter on that's just passed there. No, not quite. Right, flashbang then instead. This will do for this turn. There it was. Come on. Bat. Might not get the muter on actually. That would get the mute on, but won't get the stun lancers. Okay, let's do the uh, sniper shot first. Majid, give it your best. Well, that's uh, one. It's dead. Uh, it's, uh, the poison's going to kill him next turn. Guzman, can you see the other one? Yes, you can. Anderson, uh, let's just overwatch with you. Okay, that one's gone. Down to one muton and one stun lancer that we know about. Hey, it's nice that it tracks who did the poisoning. Yes, great work. Okay, 9% that is hardly anything. Are you quite done with that overwatch fire? No? Okay, we are just going to hear that forever then. Guzman, can you come forwards to here? And we've got um, the combat protocol. So we do have... Uh, Four damage guaranteed on this chap. Let's throw an acid grenade over to him. Oh, Overwatch! Oh, pay attention, 007. Have to do things in the right order rather than just think, oh yes, I'll do this and this and this and this. All right, let's get rid of the armor. That acid burn should kill him at the start of next turn. So Guzman, pure combat protocol. Send out the advanced gremlin. Uh, 
and Duke, if you uh, sprint up here. Pick up Sakamoto. Ah, our first PCS. I got it. Go on then, take your shot, 9% chance. Don't think you'll hit. But that acid burn should kill the muton on his turn anyway. So, that's going to be another gravely wounded for Guzman. Very sorry about that, Guzman. And uh, unfortunately, Duke is uh, still not being able to uh, shake his uh, terror um, slash shaken status. Come away with another injury. So, we'll have to try harder next time. Still, successful mission, regardless of how injured everyone ended up. Injury's kind of a way of life for you guys. Hell, promotions for most people. Just not Sakamoto. So Guzman. Gizmo Guzman. That's amazing. Excellent. Um, so we're going to get Haywire Protocol for Guzman. And the uh, next specialist we get will send more towards the Battle Medic side. Uh, so Guzman, you're going to get some customization straight after this with uh, being given a name. Matthews, you are getting Conceal. That's going to be excellent for you. Uh, Majid. Right. Um, I can't remember which one of these we want to give you. Um, actually, it's always going to be Return Fire. Uh, Long Watch is just not great. Um, I'll remember later whether or not we want to send you more Sniper or Gunslinger, but for the moment, that's irrelevant. And Anderson, you're going to be Shredder. Again, I, don't, I just don't feel that Blast Padding is that worth it over the other option. We picked up like a whole bunch of stuff. A couple of hair triggers, expanded magazine, a data pad, which uh, we can research to gain intel and our first PCS. Good collection of corpses. Ah, we have enough turret corpses that I think we can research those now. Hello, Commander. And of course, the large stash of supplies that we wanted. Finally, uh, start building some uh, upgrades for the uh, facilities. Um, let's look at that now actually before I get distracted and spend stuff. So if we go upgrade here, it's going to cost 80 supplies and hopefully generate us two power. power relay Review upgrade. Yes, it has. It also allows another engineer to be staffed there. So that's good. Um, so we've got the Proving Ground, which has been built. Uh, other facilities that we need to build. Um, I wanted to build a workshop in the middle, which is going to take power. Um, but we need uh, resistance comms as well, so we can start expanding into other areas. Uh, how much is that going to cost? 110 supplies. So we could do that by pulling say Sanchez out of here and uh, putting him in the power relay up here just to provide us enough power. Sanchez! Uh, 
that's dropped that to uh, 11 days. Sanchez, if you wouldn't mind giving us more power by operating this. And then we'll build resistance comms over here. Communications facility construction initiated. 16 days. Alright, that's all pretty good. Um, Guzman, we were going to customise you. Guzman, you are out for another 25 days. Oh, really, really very sorry about that. Right, let's see what we can do for you. So, just a couple of very minor tweaks for Guzman. Um, sort of sticking with the purple theme of the glasses that she's wearing. So, armour colour and weapon colour. Um, actually, I'm just going to change that weapon pattern to hex. More tech themed after all. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, 45 supplies. Yeah, virtually nothing we can do further. Intel? So, we've got the black market, or, yeah, just scanning for intel. Um, until we get the resistance comms up, there's not really much we can do elsewhere. I suppose we could spend some time and supplies and build this, but not worth it at the moment. Avenger plotting new course. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do, Commander. I'm sure I will. So, we've got uh, quite a few options available to us now, actually. Um, Predator armor, uh, Illyrium research, um, and two Proving Gap Ground projects. Um, spider suit, I think, is the one with the grappling hook, and the exosuit is like the mechanical oversuit that uh, comes with a built-in heavy weapon so that will be great I, sh I probably should have done this earlier oh additional inventory capacity I wonder if we've got to build these one at a time spider suit lovely exosuit excellent turret breakdown um, data decryption Okay, we'll do the turret breakdown because it's very quick. We need more Illyrium crystals before you can even start on that. The turrets we see employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. But again, why are you starting the breakdown when it's a robotic thing? While most of my involvement in the chip development process was on the theoretical side, I can't help but feel some degree of responsibility for the final product as we see it in use today. Yes, Tygen, it is basically your fault. On a singular aspect of a project, in my case, countering the body's rejection of the implanted chip. Sometimes it's easy to avoid seeing the bigger picture. To this day. Wilford ignorance. Yep, definitely. Willful ignorance or unbridled curiosity that led me to blindly pursue my research with such zeal. Commander. Okay, let's have a look at the armor. Predator armor. Wow, that is expensive. Is that per thing? Or at least I haven't been uh, selling the Advent Trooper corpses. Six of them. 150 supplies and 20 alien alloys. Ooh, gosh. Yeah, that's going to take priority over the um, the gorse rifle, but yikes. Um, all right, let's have a look at the Must have been pretty quick options in here. The exosuit. Yeah, that's a lot of stuff. Spider suit. Oh, that one uses stun lance courses. That's pretty cool. me little choice when it came to working with them. I admit... I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. Yeah, don't have enough alloys really to splash out into this sort of thing. Oh, I'd love to get a spider suit. One I hope to atone for through my efforts with XCOM. 
Okay, we're going to build a spider suit. I really want to get one on like my snipers. Gives them a bit of mobility without them uh, needing to stop shooting for the turn. But that will come after the um, the skulljack, even. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be like two weeks away. Let's uh, carry on looking for the scorched earth intel. Okay. So it's going to be harder to sneak up on them. Don't think that's going to be a great problem for us. Well. It's less of a problem than the other options were. Will likely prove crucial to our ongoing efforts, Commander. Advent doesn't seem to have any issues stationing completely autonomous weapons in close proximity to the people in those cities. It really shows you how much they care. Sure, they care. They care about as much as we do. Excellent. Okay, well that's pretty cool. Um Hopefully we never get to that stage, but... 13 days to start on psionics. Um, yeah, let's make a start on that. I had assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. And fingers crossed we can then start training up uh, recruits as psionics and uh, make some progress in that field instead. Gas grenade. Okay, so it's poison. I uh, still think I prefer the acid grenade, but I suppose if we're taking two grenadiers on a mission, then now we've got some different options. Strategic resource located. 58 intel, that's all right. Yes, I suppose flying back to Resistance HQ is probably a good option. We'll go via the black market. They're in crystals? Nope. Event officer? Possibly. And Viper corpses? Probably not. Eight each? Mm. Everything is just far too valuable to me now. <laughs> I suppose uh, nah, tracer rounds are still going to be useful, especially when we get that new armor. Um, it's kind of like the old style scopes, really. Could sell a hair trigger or two. Or just sell intel. Nah, okay. Uh, anything to buy. Ooh, could buy a stash more alien alloys. That is actually really tempting. And then a stash more supplies. Okay, so we'll buy these alloys. And these supplies. Yep. And then we will go and see if we can spend some of them. Commander. Okay, excellent. So we can build at least one of these now. And I'm really kind of curious if it's going to upgrade everyone's armor, which is why I was so willing to just jump on it. The aptly named Predator armor should give our soldiers increased longevity in the field. Please be for everyone. Yes, it looks like it is. Uh, this is, uh, there you go. Lisbeth in her new armor. Yep. Plus four health. Oh, that's going to be so good. And no downsides. Um, extra utility item each. Ah, oh, that's, I'm so pleased with that. Let's, let's have a look at some of our people. Um, yeah, sorry, you're going to have to uh, stop wearing that now. Start wearing this. Alright, um, give me a second. I'm going to go through the whole list and uh, re-equip everyone. 
Okay, so just a couple of very minor alterations. Um, most people basically just like a slow. Most people basically just look like a slightly higher tech version of their old look. There's only been a uh, one or two real changes. Um, uh, most notable of which was a uh, tombstone. Um, because he was basically just wearing a shirt. So he's now actually got some armor. Who oh, still tried to give him the whole sleeveless look. Much nicer. Uh, back to uh, get some more intel, I guess. Welcome, Commander. Nothing worthwhile. Well, nothing I can afford, really. Supply raid? That sounds ideal. Setting course for Eastern United States. Okay, um... Give me a second and I will just put a squad together for this mission. Okay, this is what I've come up with. Um, so it turns out you can actually only hold one grenade per person. So uh, poor Sakamoto over here actually only has uh, one utility item. Um, I've passed around the usual assortment of weapons, uh, added a hair trigger to a couple of them that only had one upgrade in use. Um, the tracer rounds have gone to uh, Anderson here because Anderson has the Shredder ability um, and I've passed the Venom on to Philippe who I'm bringing out for the first time. Uh, he's going to be uh, hopefully lending some range support. Um, Kowalczyk and Sakamoto, both rangers. Um, Boz is uh, being our specialist this time and uh, yeah, I think this is a pretty good squad. Let's get going. indicates an advent train was recently disabled in this area by the resistance and so far the aliens haven't managed to move it out of the region we're heading in to seize any assets and technology we find neutralize all hostile contacts and secure the AO all right join me next time for operation winter giant coming up next time <laughs>